guys are sailing in. I think I'm going to withdraw from that fight. Which doesn't lose me any ships, just because I saw that the daisy was getting a little bit weak. And hopefully, yeah, we can catch you with the big ships. There we go. Revengi! And we can sink a bunch of their lights. Perfect! Then you can go back to intercepting enemy fleets in the Caribbean. Perfect. Now where are you going? You're going all the way around. Taking attrition from the high seas as you do it. That's a bit annoying. Army career. Gain army tradition or gain professionalism. I think I'm going to take the army tradition because that translates into morale. Boop. I now have 300 ships. What? How'd that happen? Oh, and we still have a bunch of heavies. I think I'm going to reduce this down to 70. Alright, 80. We're just going to go and get rid of those, I think. Because you've just been collecting ships from the local colonial nations. Protect trade, Caribbean, go. And there we go, the deficit's down to just 19. Much better. If, as a Pirate Republic, I release the nations of the vassal, do they take on the government type? I don't know. That's a good question. This should be one. I don't think so. No, this is a plutocracy. That's a merchant republic. I'm just going to double check that these actually remained as pirates. I'm not sure that they did when I vassalized them. Pirate Republic? So, New Providence still is. Tortuga isn't. Tortuga is an oligarchy. Took a really long way around. Blimey. And all this time my army's gonna be taking attrition because they're at sea. Alright, let's try that again. Jump on the boats, sail over here. Go. We're still losing money, but it's not outrageous. Venice is down to 29, even without any occupations. And there we go, we stole a bunch of their money. That's kind of what I was waiting for, so how's their fleet looking? 96 galleys, 231 lights and 88 heavies. That is more manageable. Now we just need to make sure that they don't somehow manage to land some troops on... Uh, Jamaica. That would be bad. But considering we're still patrolling this area, I think we'll be fine. Edward Bellamy is calm. Stability cost modifier reduction. That's fairly nice. Although with 74% Republican traditions, to stab costs are already 51% more expensive. Low tradition is really bad. Oh, and there's their trade fleet. Why is their galley fleet, though? That's the one I am the most concerned about. Oh, bugger, and my general just died. Which is really annoying, because that was an excellent general. Oh, there's the Venetian... Transport fleet? Where's their protection fleet? Because we're ruining that one. Yep, yeah, that's dead.
Still stealing more ships. Definitely don't want the transports. We can get rid of those. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and just make sure we've not picked up any random transports in any of these fleets. No, we haven't. Okay, good. Carry on. Oh, that's another Aragon fleet over there I just saw. And in the future, once I earn my orc... Oh, there we go. What's that against? That's their light fleet again. Trade trade fleet. Once we've taken Malta and... Oh, ooh, thanks, Popal States. Um, Mallorca, we're going to have a core in this area, which means no more issues with supply and logistics. So we can just permanently blockade anything. And that is ultimately the situation I want to find myself in. Where's my capital? Jamaica. Oh, the Dutch army is in Spain. We just saw that. Seventy-four ducats stolen. It's keeping me afloat. Oh, New Valencia got an army here. That's Aragon. That's irritating. Oh well, we'll just have to go over there and take it again at some point in the future. Whoa, you just captured like a lot of ships. Caravel? Really? Well, now we can definitely detach those old ships. What am I up to? 285 of 111 allowed. Oops. Oh, and we're maxed out on admin. How far away from the next tech are we? A long way. Well, in that case, we should probably use some of that. Let's sort it by the gold mines first of all, just to make sure that we have enough points where we can actually get all the gold. 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we can spend some of the dip load to get the gold mines up and running. Uh, that's 8, 9, 10. That's 10 already. Okay, so we have all the points that we need for the next one. We can also get a new government reform. So, office selection. We can have appointment by committee, which reduces advisor costs and increases the number of advisors available. Puter, bureaucratic apparatus, minimum autonomy in territories, and max promoted cultures. I don't really care about the max promoted cultures. Minimum autonomy in territories would actually be really nice now. Because we're going to have to have quite a few territories because we are a merchant republic. Technically. And we are limited in the number of provinces we can have. Um, so yeah, that's going to gel very, very nicely. All right, so Mallorca's fallen. We just beat another fleet. Split you in half, send half of you here. Just trying to block me from crossing. Unacceptable. And then once we occupy all of this, actually, we're going to be able to blockade all of Spain. Because this is already in supply range, thanks to the Isle of Man, and we have territories here. So it's only going to be the Gulf of Amira, which could be potentially problematic. 
No, we have supply from Grand Canaria and we can we can surround them now. Okay, so we can now move freely over here. We have secured all of that. Let's bring you back in. And then we'll go after Malta. And hell, we could theoretically even go after Sardinia, Corsica, Sicily. Although I think we would take out Venice before doing that. Because it's likely that these guys will have access through the Pope. But maybe not Venice. Well, actually, they're allied to Venice. They probably will have it through Venice. And the Pope's allied to France. So they'll have access through that. So going off to Sicily would be a bit more dangerous. But I want to see if I can blitz down Venice, because, yeah, it's a level one. Two hundred and fifty gold in. Good. Have we captured any more random ships? Yes, I think we have. Any other old ships we can separate? No. I think I'm going to reduce you back down to thirty-five. So we're going to get rid of these four. Uh, except for the San Miguel. Alright, we'll get rid of three. Ah, and we can get another military idea. Cavalry combat ability? Sure, why not? Boop. The finest of horses. Alright, let's go and see if we can oust the Venetians in the Mediterranean. This is not going to be an easy fight. Probably. Uh, that is a lot of ships they have there. It would be a real shame if something were to happen to them. Yeah, you're slowly but surely taking that back. Oh well, so be it. We'll take it back, back again. Such jokers. Just take everything out. Alright, transports have arrived. Time to offload. It's a level 1 fort. We should burn through this very quickly. Because the transport fleet is in the harbour. Or is in the gulf. Which gives us the plus 21. Or the, the, the plus 1. Plus we have lots of cannon. Plus we... Oh no, we didn't take the cannon bonus, did we? Uh, so how many is required for this? Five. No. Yeah, five. We have twenty. Fine. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the Aragonese, the French, and the Dutch armies appearing suddenly. I'm not that worried about it, but it is a concern. Oh, look, they actually upgraded a fort to level six. Well done. And there it is, Venice has fallen. So I am hoping that we can piece Venice out soon. What's that? Bohemia. Uh, why is Bohemia in this war? Why is Bohemia in this war? Oh, they're allied to Aragon. That Yep, that, that's a thing that I did too. I made Aragon too bloody good. I don't actually want very much from Venice. Just money would do. And if I have Malta then, well...
Okay, 91 ships, including my transports, against 135. They have 5.8 morale, I have 6.9. I have a combat width of 52 to their 37. That's going to be the big deal here. And they can't cross because there's a naval battle ongoing. And we are sinking their ships very quickly. And we just stole the Venetian capital ship. Although it's probably a galley. Which means I don't think I'll keep it around if it's... Oh no, it's a war galleon. Okay, that's worth keeping. So the Cristo de Venezia needs to be kept. Most of those are war galleons. Yeah, that's why they didn't do particularly well. In fact, they're all war galleons. They're old. And we can get rid of those. And we can get rid of... All except for the Golden Hind, which is mine. And should get upgraded before I forget. Here's the French army. Right, let's go and snipe Corfu. Do I know how unrest is calculated with more than 100% overextension? No, but at over 100 overextension you start taking really bad events and I think those add more unrest. So just don't do it. It's never worth it. Overextension is like, it's a pretty hard cap. War. War never changes. In exchange for some peace and quiet, our vassals are obliged to pay some income to us, their overlord. Let's go and nab Corfu. And you just stole another heavy. Get rid of it. And some lights. Get rid of them. You really need to have a fleet of nothing but flagships as a trophy fleet, at least in peacetime. That would be pretty hilarious, this is true. Stealing some more light ships, so be it. And the French and the Bohemian armies are on their way. They've like, aha, we can fight something. Except they can't really. Keep the Buccaneers in power. I want that Republican tradition. <laughs> so they just built a new flagship and I immediately captured it. What was it? Oh, it's a three-decker as well. Ah. Well, that's definitely got to go and join our uh, main fleet. Although, you're about to run into that lot. I kind of prefer you didn't. So how about you sail this way? Alright, Venice. Let's see if I can make peace with you now. No. Um, what level forts are you? Four, four. Well, we're going to go across to Epirus, and then we're going to see if we can take it before the French arrive. Wait, what? That's not my pride, that's their pride.
It's a bit weird that you suffer a penalty for losing somebody else's flagship. That means that these are actually a liability. Hmm. Oh, and you managed to land some troops here. That's actually kind of annoying. And I do need to be a little bit concerned about the French coming. Uh, let's go and launch a barrage. And let's also go and stand in Force March Stance so I can get out of here quickly if I need to. Not all. Thank you very much for the bits. You made the ship. I think I made the ship. Can you take Venice itself as an island in the Mediterranean? Yeah. It is. It's connected to the uh, coast by a uh, strait. But it is an island. <laughs> Their fleets just keep on suiciding against us. I mean, please do continue. It's not really getting you anywhere. Ah, here we go, the French. Uh, this is a fort, so we're going to run. Bye. Because otherwise I'd be fighting in the mountains and they'd be, be benefiting from it. Um, we could force them to fight us in a straight crossing. It's a little bit dangerous, but it would be a minus two combat for them. Oh, and we have no general. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's make sure we get a general first, eh? So this is going to be... I forgot to tick off Bosnik. Scapper. Come on, Scapper, be good. That's not good. Let's try another one, Scapper. Better. 6300, however. How many pips can I expect? Between 6 and 14. That's a 9. That's actually really bad. Uh, let's get another one. Better. That's 11, 12. Still not the absolute maximum we can expect, but I don't want to spend too many points on this. So that'll do. So do I want to pick a fight with the uh, French? 60,000 against 41. No, I don't think I do. Especially not against the 2-5, because they would have four more morale. Nah. Not worth the risk. Alright, Venice. I'd rather just get you out of this war. I'm not really that bothered about Corfu. I mean, it would be nice to have... But it isn't vital. Because this is making their side weaker in comparison to us. Ooh. That was a big fleet we just sank. Get rid of all the galleys, get rid of all the transports, and get rid of all the obsolete trade ships, because they're rubbish. But before we do so, raid them. Okay, so now that we know uh, the French army is down here, it's going to be almost impossible to get Bohemia out. I do wonder if we can go and try and snipe Paris. I mean, part of it depends on where exactly the Dutch army is and where the French army, or where the uh, Aragonese army is. Oh, they're trying to land in Belize, effectually. Venice immediately rivals us. Don't blame you. Don't blame you.
Alright, let's go and drop these guys off over here. You no longer need to protect that crossing. Get rid of that one random light ship. Even if it is a great frigate, as opposed to a merely good one. Hey, Kaylee. Just slapping these ships around a bit. Squish, squish, squish. And squish. Right. Well, we definitely need to land on Malta so I can start taking it. So let's send you over there to deal with that. We no longer need to deal with the Venetian galleys. That's basically all of their galley fleet gone. We'd already sunk the Aragonese one. Um, yeah, their navy is in trouble. 71 heavies against my 57. It's not going to be enough. And I have 2 to 1 in terms of light ships now. And just all of these naval battles. The only naval battle I've lost was against the Dutch. The one time the Dutch have deigned to fight us. Oh no, we fought them twice. Right, let's have you offload onto Malta. We'll siege it down. And what level is Holland? Holland is a level 1 for, of course it is. And I wonder if that would get me enough with war score with the Netherlands to get them out. Tortuga has got high warren thingy. So let's go to development page and just bump that up a tiny bit. Something like that, perfect. Nope, still. Huh. Oh, wait, Tortuga. Alright, that's these guys. There we go. Have another. Should keep you good for a bit longer. Actually, no, you stay in port. Because while you're in port, you're not using uh, sailors, which means I'm I'm still losing sailors just because my naval usage is so high. All right, so they've actually landed a significant army in Belize. That is annoying. Most of them are Aragonese regulars. Okay. So, we have some time. We're going to take Malta. We're going to need to load back onto the ships and then head back over. And we outnumber them almost two to one. So, we should win that fight. Election in the Pirate Confederacy. I think we want to keep Bellamy because he is a pretty good leader at this point. We have invested rather heavily in this gentleman. However, we want to make sure that the Buccaneers stay in power. They are...